Marcella, the former sheriff's deputy only said one word in court wearing a face mask. He answered yes when the judge asked if he would waive his right to a speedy preliminary hearing. This is a deputy who's accused of possessing child porn while he was still serving on the department. Appearing in front of a judge for the first time, former San Diego County Sheriff's Deputy Jose Soto pleaded not guilty to one count of possessing child pornography and possession of an assault rifle. He denies all allegations and charges at this time, and he elected to elect a plea of not guilty. Soto served on the Sheriff's Department for 25 years as a detention officer and in court services. He recently came back part-time working in the South Bay Courthouse. Sheriff Kelly Martinez says that Soto was let go following his arrest and is out on $25,000 bail. Uh, due to uh, recent international travel, the people are aware of, we ask that the defendant surrender his passport in addition to any other uh, firearms that are either registered or unregistered here. Following the arraignment, Deputy District Attorney Carter Chan says the San Diego Police Department is investigating the case. It, it was a report that we looked into um, and that we started an investigation and that's what um, resulted in the search warrant. Chan says police executed a search warrant last week at Soto's Chula Vista home. We found uh, at least one matter depicting what we believe is child pornography, uh, minors engaging in sexual conduct. Chan would neither say where they found the explicit images nor many more details about the case, but say it's still an active investigation. Uh, there are a number of different devices uh, that we found, um, and this particular matter um, was not found on his personal laptop that I know of. When Soto was arrested, Sheriff Martinez issued a statement in part saying so many deputies ensure the mission to ensure public safety. It is very unfortunate the hard work of so many is overshadowed by an incident such as this. Prosecutors echo that statement and say no one is above the law. We treat all offenders equally in the eyes of the law. It doesn't matter what their history was, what their employment, what their profession is. Uh, all I know is that um, at the time that we issued these charges, we believe beyond a reasonable doubt that he's committed these offenses and will pursue any appropriate charges. As part of Soto's bail, the judge ordered that he surrender his passport, firearms and ammunition. He will be back in court for a readiness hearing on June 15th. Marcella. Why in the hell are we tolerating this? Is California a fentanyl sanctuary state? 